Tennessee at 6 o'clock. Black infant mortality rates in Indiana grew last year. That's despite drops for other demographics. Some health advocates now say ongoing disparities play a role. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey joining us now with more on that story. Katira? Phil, Indiana typically sees about 80,000 births a year. So when you hear about 500 babies that don't survive, it may seem like a wide margin. But some advocates say even that's too much because many women often have better chances of holding their baby to term if they receive prenatal care within the first trimester. Katina Briggs is about eight and a half months pregnant, so in a matter of weeks, she'll welcome baby number three. Her last pregnancy was a little rough, so she's learned quite a bit. I ask questions, so I'm already trying to figure out, you know, how's the hospital here. But black infant mortality rates are still areas of concern. Briggs is making it the focus of her Doctor of Health Administration dissertation. In Mississippi, I had like several people, they just, you know, they would go all through their pregnancy and they would get to the end and something would happen to their baby. Briggs lives in Indiana now, and the state recently released data showing a slight uptick in black infant mortality rates, while rates for white and Hispanic babies continue to drop. Carl Ellison is president and CEO of Indiana Minority Health Coalition. He says while the state can boast overall lower numbers, the disparities in black births have existed. We've not figured out how to eliminate or sniffing and reduce the disparity of black babies dying uh, at two plus times the rate of white babies. Ellison said, but failure to receive prenatal care in the first trimester for minorities can often play a factor. And sometimes uh, you have women who may have had a bill with a provider who felt like, well, I can't go back until I get that straight now. Brick says if she has any advice, do your research and get help early. This isn't just a Mississippi thing. This is not just an Indiana thing. Actually, it's a United States thing. And the Minority Health Coalition is continuing its work providing support. The state is continuing to expand its My Healthy Baby program. It's geared at pointing mothers and expected mothers to resources. Reporting in the studio, I'm Wish TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey.